<laughs> okay, now we want to solve some balanced torque problems where things are balanced in order to not rotate to stay in equilibrium without falling off here on this seesaw the torque that is clockwise has to be balanced with a torque that's counterclockwise that's rotating the other way so this man right here he's applying a force downward on this right side that's going to cause a torque this way which is a clockwise torque the guy hanging off over here he's pulling down also but down isn't what's important to torque what's important is the rotational direction and this guy is going to cause the rotation to be counterclockwise so they are causing opposite rotational directions now in order to stay balanced not the weights don't have to be balanced the torque has to be balanced torque is what causes rotation or changes in rotation rather so if we want no change we would have zero net torque so the way we set up these problems is we say if we add up all the torques that are counterclockwise they will equal the sum of all the torques that are clockwise so we've got some funny symbols there the sigma for sum we've used that before with energy and momentum the curly little t here that's for torque and ccw that's counterclockwise so sum torques clockwise well the torque that is counterclockwise there's only one it's from that guy and that's going to be the force that is perpendicular times the distance to the axis and that's going to have to that's the clockwise counterclockwise ones and that's going to equal the force for the other guy so force b or a if we call this guy a and this one b so here's force a force b perpendicular and his lever arm for b lever arm for a and they are the clockwise sides uh all right what is this force we don't know that's what we want to find we want to find this force here so what is the force for a his force is entirely perpendicular because it's gravity pulling straight down the distance to the lever arm to the axis the distance of the lever arm rather the length of the lever arm is the distance to the axis it's his fulcrum so four meters and that's going to equal the force that the other side the other rotational direction that's 500 newtons 500 newtons and his distance to the axis of rotation two meters do a little math on the right we got 1000 newton meters and on the right we got fa times four so what do we got to do there divide out by the four we get to the force that the guy on the left is applying is 1000 divided by four which is 250 newtons so 250 newtons that's what he's applying that's what how much he weighs rather and applying to it so balanced torques Whoa. you see that there you go that's what you do the torques rotating one direction counterclockwise have to equal the torques rotating the other direction clockwise 